I just got two subscriber packages, so I think it's time to do an inbox video. They feel pretty heavy. <laughs> Maybe they're bricks, because God knows I need more bricks. I actually had to find, I moved this around a lot, otherwise all the light from the trees keeps washing out the image. It's kind of funny. The, um, the Komorebi, whatever it's called. It's a shame we don't have a good English word for that. But I think Komorebi, oh my god. It's a vacuum pump. Holy shit. Oh. Yes. Awesome. That is pretty darn cool. I will definitely find a use for this. It's actually really nice. Thank you very much. He said it was some old junk that he didn't need anymore, so... Let's see. What's in the other box? A note. Renella, inside I have sent some stuff that I really do not have any use for. The variable auto transformer, potentiometer, circuit breaker, the, C the KV voltage meter were all pulled out of a, a podiatry x-ray machine controller. The variable auto transformer can go from 0 to 120 volts and is rated for 7.5 amps. That sounds pretty useful. The circuit breaker, I think, is rated for around 40 amps since this and since that was the maximum current the power relay inside the machine could handle, the voltage meter's panel reads up to 110,000 volts. To find the real range of the meter, I supplied 50 volts DC to the inputs and the meter deflected only halfway, so I suspect the meter is capable of reading up to 100 volts DC. The clock is painted with radium dials and barely glows in the dark. When placed next to my BC408 scintillation detector between a half aluminum plate around 700 CPM of pure gamma was measured, my Ludlum 3 detector scream, uh, sc uh, screams whenever it's pointed at the clock face, and I assume this will be a great source of radiation for your CDV700. Awesome! Feel free to ask me any questions. My contact information is below. Eric. Thank you very much, Eric. That sounds awesome about the radiation. Definitely is ticking up, that's for sure. Let's see if we can sniff it out. No. I have a ba normal background radiation right now. Ooh, that is very much radioactive. I mean, it's not very radioactive, but it's very much obvious that it's radioactive. This is the back, and that's the front. Look at that meter go. I need to get a speaker for this so I can actually hear it sometime. So let's see if I was correct. Oh man. Oh my god, that is so freaking cool. General Electric. goes pretty well. Seems kind of similar to the test source they have on this Geiger counter. Actually a little bit less. Let's go take this thing inside and see how it glows. Well that's odd. I always thought that radium would glow under its own power, not need to be charged. This radium seems to need to be charged, which I'm, which makes me doubt it's actually radium. Let's 
which now I can see it very clearly, but in about five minutes it'll fade. Using the red light did help a lot with making it look pretty cool. Using a black light really makes it look cool. Oh, look at that. Ultraviolet light. That is pretty cool. I think what I should do is I, sh I should try to fix the front lens since it's all shattered up. And I think maybe I should add a little like ultraviolet LED to shine on the front numbers to make them glow bright enough to see even in daylight. Not well, I mean indoor day lighting. So kind of this. Ooh, I think that's the circuit breaker. Arex, Electronics, Cambridge, something. Oof, that's really broken in there. No wonder they had to replace that. Or maybe that was the male that did that. You know, maybe USBS broke that too. I would not be surprised. They're pretty shitty mail service. Yes. Nice. That's pretty cool. Definitely find some use for this. Ooh, there's the little rheostat thing. Definitely find a use for that. Omite Manufacturing Co. I guess. Yes! Oh, this is so cool. That's pretty much coming off, but it's a General Electric Volt Pack Model Line T92A2057. Input 115 volts, 60 hertz, 50 hertz, one phase. Output 0 to 135 volts. Oh wow, so it has, what's that called, an overwinding? Oh, 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 I find a use for that. That is so fucking cool. Thank you very much for this. This is very nice. And very useful, too. I was wondering why they were so heavy. Now I know why the packages were so heavy. I'll definitely find a use for these. I already know of a couple. Wow. That's just so cool. This is a very nice package. So once again, thank you very much. And yeah, I'm just going to go play with these and think of things to do with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!